Let's connect our Google Sheet to our Google Calendar. Now, I've done some videos on this in the past using App Script, which is perfectly fine, but we're gonna take the easy way out today using Lido, which helps us automate repetitive tasks using data that's already in our spreadsheet without having to leave the comfort of our spreadsheets. So the way Lido works is you create a new file, we'll title this calendar, and then we've got what looks like a Google Sheet right in front of us. So Lido is itself just a spreadsheet. And we're gonna connect our data that lives in one of many different places. In our case, we've got a Google Sheet. I'm gonna copy the URL for that Google Sheet. I'm going to select Google Sheets, select our account, and then paste the URL in here. Lido will do its thing, read the data, if you have multiple sheets in that workbook, then you can select which one you want to use right here. We just have the one, here's the preview of it, and we can click add data. Now the first thing it does is it creates a legit table, which uh, Google Sheets is about to add finally in 2024, but it doesn't currently have the native ability to create an actual table. In the green cells is the data from our sheet. We cannot edit these, it's protected cells, so it keeps our master data over here in our Google Sheet right where we want it. And all I have are clients, emails, events, start dates, and end dates. So just the bare basics of what we need. I'm gonna create a new column in column F. It's gonna be computed. And the only function we're gonna use is this custom add calendar event function that Lido has written in here. It's gonna take credentials. So we wanna click add uh, credentials, connect this to our Google Calendar in the same way that we connect our Google Sheet initially to Lido, and then click through all these permissions so that it has permission to actually write to our calendar. Once it's done that, you'll see your email address right there. And then kind of the toughest part for a lot of people is finding their calendar ID. So if you're over here in your calendar, on the side here, it says my calendars. I've created this custom one. It's not my default calendar but the idea is gonna be found in the same place regardless of which one you're using. Click the settings and sharing and then scroll down and about halfway down you have this integrate calendar section with calendar ID as the first argument or the first item listed. Now if it's your default calendar you're using, this is probably gonna be your email address. It's probably just gonna say your name at Gmail. Copy that, whatever it is, you need either one of those and come back over here, and then you have to do quote marks, so double quotes, paste in the string, double quotes, so it turns green. And then it goes on to the next argument, which is the title. Now I'm gonna use the client name, and then I'm gonna say ampersand, quotes, space, plus Amon. This will then say Vincent plus Amon for the title of the event. For the description, I've got column C. For the start date, I've got column D. For the end date, I've got column E. The status cell is just going to print out a message saying, hey, you were successful or there was an error when running this function. And then the optional argument for emails is if you want to invite people using this function also. And I'm gonna put that email address and show you how that works. All right, so let me make this column a little bit bigger and you can see that it creates this big old custom function for add calendar event. Now, couple ways to run this, you can just click the three dots and say run action, and it will run and say success, we ran it. I can go back over here to the calendar, I can go out of the settings, and we can see there's Vincent plus Amon, that first event, and it's waiting on the guest that we emailed. Okay, back over here in Lido, let's do a couple more things. First, let's go ahead and title this status and make it a linked column. We're gonna link that to the client name and we're good with that column G. Just looks a little bit better now. And the other thing we wanna do is we wanna start automating things. So we can go ahead and choose automations, add automations, automate a column, and select our table calendar and our column calendar. And we can set a custom schedule for this. This will vary depending on the plan you're on. The free plan lets you do it once per day. And then you can also go up to as frequently as five minutes. Let's go ahead and do ours every five minutes as well. And it's gonna say next run in 40 seconds. It's got that countdown going. So I'm gonna save this and we're also gonna make a quick change over here. Before that runs, at the start of our add calendar event, so instead of all this, we're gonna say if G2 does not equal success, then we're gonna run this. So we're just gonna 
check and make sure that we haven't already added the calendar event. And that way this one will not run because we did add that over here in our calendar already. So here in a few seconds, I think, let's see when this runs. Oh yeah, so it's running right now. It should give us status success over here in our column G, status success over here in our Google Calendar. Now we've got that event on the 17th, demo walkthrough, Neil plus Amon, which is this line right here. Okay, pretty cool. Let's do one more thing to this. Let's add a line. We're gonna add another person down here, Edie. We're gonna do another demo walkthrough on the 18th, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Back over here in Lido, anytime you add something, to your data, you can go over here and select add data. It's gonna preview it and you can update the table. Now I'm not gonna do that manually because what I wanna show you is that when we have an automation set up, it's gonna do some stuff for us. It's gonna update any new rows. It's gonna pull in any new data from our master spreadsheet. So it's gonna update this, update all the cell values and run any automations that are set to be run. So right now what we should expect to happen because uh, rows two and three have already got success messages, nothing's gonna happen here, but we should pull in row four, which has this ED line in it, and it should then send that invite to ED. So I'm gonna speed this up and we'll come back and see what happens. All right, so we're back here right before it runs and now we can see up here in the top right, it is running. We should have a history log over here, and then we should see in our spreadsheet in Lido uh, another row form when it pulls in the data in just a moment. So it's going through the process of checking whether or not there's updates. There's the data for our spreadsheet. There's the message for our Google Calendar automation. Let's go check one more thing and make sure that it did add Edie and Eamon, and it did on the 18th from 3 to 5 p.m. So Lido makes it pretty much set it and forget it. If you hook up an automation to a spreadsheet, it's going to automatically just check for any updates. You can add new clients, add new events, and then it will send out those on your automation schedule. Now, you know me, I love App Script and automating things, and I've been pretty impressed with Lido the last couple of weeks. If you want to check them out, there's a link in the description below that will help support the channel and give you a 15% discount if you go with one of their paid plans. You can check them out for free though. If you wanna see something else cool, check out this video where I go through a similar process automating email reminder invites. It's set up in much the same way using some custom functions in Lido and I was pretty pleased with how it turned out. Hope you have a great one, bye.